Kenny K. in Taunton, Massachusetts writes, Hi, Paul. Hi, Kenny. What are op amps and their benefits and shortcomings? Oh, good. A simple subject. <laughs> and what are discrete devices or discrete output devices? I see advertised as being used in lieu of op amps in higher end products, these discrete devices. You know, there's a lot of misinformation running around about chips and discretes and op amps. So let me clear up some of that for you. First off, an op amp, which stands for operational amplifier, is a topology, not a chip or discrete. Okay? So by topology, I mean it is a way of designing a amplification device and how it's made has nothing to do with the properties that it emboldens. Op amps have been around since the 1930s. We've had op amps originally made out of vacuum tubes and later made out of discrete transistors and then chips and so an op amp, operational amplifier, is basically a differential input amplifier with a single-ended voltage output. So you've got differential voltage inputs and a single-ended voltage output. And it's usually shown as a triangle. Can I, can I make a triangle? Nah. There you go. How's that? That's a terrible triangle. There you go. And this is the output <laughs> and the inputs on that. And we normally have an inverting and a non-inverting input as any differential amplifier has. And as a building block, so just think of it as a building block for a moment, as this topology. As a building block, it's very handy. By using those three inputs, so uh, those two inputs and one output, I can make any number of things. If I take the output and I simply wrap a wire around to one of the inputs, into the minus input, and I put my signal into the plus input, I have a voltage follower a very good voltage follower. If I add a couple of resistors and I flip that around I, and I go into the inverting input and, uh, uh, and wrap some of the feedback around, I can make a phase shifter. I can make a, a polarity changer, if you will. Uh, by, by, by various resistors to this building block, I can make a phono preamplifier, a power amplifier, uh, a line preamplifier, uh, a comparator, uh, on and on and on. The, the applications for op amps are endless and, and we don't have time to go through it and you probably really don't care. So an op amp is a specific topology of an amplification device. Now, understanding that, we can say that op amps come in many different flavors. They come in the chip flavor, and of which there are thousands of variations by different companies for different purposes of op amps on silicon chips, okay? And everybody uses them in some capacity. I mean, there are just bazillions of them around. Op amp, the topology, can and often is used as built with a discrete circuit, which means that device is, or that topology is created with individual transistors or tubes or whatever you're gonna do, usually transistors, to make a specific type of amplification device that's based on an op amp. And that usually consists in its simplest form of a differential pair, maybe a current source, a gain stage and an output stage. Now, we most of the op amps that we use, we use the discrete version. And we do that because we can't find a chip version that matches what we want to get the sound quality we need, okay? If there was a chip, we just plug it right in, but there really isn't. So we build discrete versions of the op amp topology 
so we can have high voltage, we can control the open loop gain, we can do all of this stuff that makes our products sound the way we want by use of discrete individual parts to construct the topology of an operational amplifier. Hope that helps your understanding. Okay, thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow.